Hello, welcome sa inyong lahat. Balik na naman tayo sa Philippine Stock Exchange. Um, so wala, hindi ko suot ang headset ko. Sana marinig nyo ako na mabuti. I don't know. We'll find out later. Uh, so, uh, ano ba nangyayari ngayon sa PSEI Index? So, tingnan muna natin ang PSEI Index bagong lahat. Okay? So, ngayong araw, pag-usapan natin ng mga bullish stocks sa PSEI, mga blue chip stocks. At tingnan-tingnan uh, natin kung ano alin ba doon sa mga bullish stocks na yun ang magandang uh, pasukan. Okay? Kasi hindi lahat ng bullish stocks uh, ay dapat pasukin nyo. Okay? So, may tinatawag tayong timing. So, dapat uh, maganda rin ang timing natin. Okay? So, PSEI Index. So, makikita nyo ang PSEI Index is uh, nasa ibaba ulit ng 8100. So, ang uh, market natin is naglalaro lang ano. Uh, from uh, between 8100 and 7800 so uh, pagkaganyan or 7900 so pagkaganyan ng uh, pagkaganyan ng market natin so madali, actually mas madali tayo makapagtry dahil alam natin kung nasaan ang ceiling at nasaan ang floor okay so makikita natin ang uh, kasalukuyan na uh, ang uh, money flow natin is negative which is why itong mga professionals natin ano Uh, gusto natin umangat ng 8100 more than 8100 ang stock natin pero itong mga professionals naman they're not showing confidence sa market natin okay so they're selling kung may opportunity sila so that's why hindi tayo maka ano hindi tayo maka ng 8100 okay so makikita natin ang um, ang uh, um, offer bought over sold signal natin dito sa gitna ng gitna is nasa over uh, bought na Okay, so which means na may malaki ang tendency natin na bumaba since uh, August na yun, which is August, which is nasabi nilang ghost month. So malamang uh, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, downtrend, okay, from here. Alright, pero uh, makikita natin na uptrend pa rin yung ating long term uh, trend line, okay. Ang ating short term trend line din, itong green line natin is uh, pataas din. So which gives us confidence na malaki ang possibility na tumas umangat pa tayo okay so once makita lang natin ang money flow natin maging positive okay makita, may pakita man lang ng mga ng mga professional traders natin na confident sila sa market natin then we know we're gonna go above 8100 okay so makita natin ang health ng stock dito sa ating absolute absolute uh, indicate uh, performance indicator at sa mabayas nasa iba, above titong uh, orange uh, orange na band natin so which means na very bullish very healthy ang ang stock price natin okay so which means pag uh, nagkakaroon ng dip oversold so bibili natin yung mga dips ng uh, ng market okay pag nasa pag na pag healthy ang, uh, ang ating uh, stock ang ating market okay so uh, anong unang uh, bullish stock natin for today So, nandiyan yung uh, Ayala Corporation. So, tingnan natin ang Ayala Corporation. Okay, so, Ayala Corporation, makita natin na uh, last trading day, nagkaroon ng pullback. Okay, so, makita natin, meron makita natin ng mga professionals, mga ating institutional uh, traders is, uh, very, uh, is positive siya somewhat positive so that means bibili nila itong stock na to however nasa overbought tayo okay so pag overbought uh, medyo extended na ang price at um, may tendency itong bumaba which is in this case na, na makikita natin bumaba siya pero makita mo ang health ng market natin is positive okay so uh, maganda ang uh, pinapakita nitong uh, Ayala Corporation but in terms of timing hindi ko lang alam kung uh, if you want to buy this uh, stock right now so makita natin nagkaroon siya ng breakout dito okay at doon din nag nagtapos yung uh, stock last time okay so ma as kung nag trade siya above uh, 8900 uh, pesos then most likely uh, pa pataas pa to okay Uh, so may, may create pala ako dito ng uh, isang utility for swing traders na uh, pangatawag ko dito is STAR which means swing trader swing trade um, analytical report so makikita niyo dito si STAR okay so ilalagay ko sa Ayala Corporation so pang, ano bang sinasabi nitong uh, swing at ang utility ko okay, for swing traders ano bang sinasabi niya tungkol sa Ayala Corporation so ang price action makikita nyo very, uh, very bullish siya makikita nyo green uh, ang momentum niya is also bullish 
smart money uh, which is uh, yung mga institutional buyers natin makita nyo is slightly green so that means binibili nyo na to in terms of timing makita mo uh, overbought siya dahil sa green siya okay so overbought siya ngayon uh, at ang swing trend natin makita natin ilang araw na tong pataas ang trend niya okay so uh, hindi natin alam kung kung hanggang kailan pa tong trend niya na pataas sinasabi nga nila pag bumili ka at this this point na naghahabol ka so you're chasing so uh, in terms of timing makita natin ang timing nilagay ko sa pula which means na mas maganda bumili pag ang timing mo na sa oversold which is banda rito okay uh, yan lalo na pag nag, nag trend na siya pataas yun na yung the best time for you to buy the stock okay so naman dito din sa aking uh, star uh, swing trade uh, helper uh, utility uh, makikita natin may buy signals din ako dito and which in this case last week wala tayo hindi, hindi nagkaroon ng buy signal ano ba, ano ba mga buy signals ko dito man dito yung oversold buy signal, momentum may smart money buy signal din ako dito okay, para sa mga newbies at amateur kung hindi nyo alam kung wala kayong trade plan may mga trade, may trade plan din ako dito so buy below, may buy below price ako may target price 1, target price 2 target price 3 and uh, cut loss below or sell below, okay price. Ayan, so makikita nyo ang Ayala Corporation. Maganda siya but um, thinking na medyo extended na siya ngayon. So, timing wise hindi siya magandang pasukan at this point. Okay? So, anong susunod nating So, meron pala akong uh, fundamental research din. May mga fundamental research din akong ginawa. So, Ayala Corporation, makikita natin ang closing price niya last Friday is 900 pesos. Ang quantitative fair, may quantitative fair value ako na, na, uh, na research, which is ang fair value price ng, uh, ng stock na to in terms of uh, uh, quantitatively, yung computer generated na fair, uh, fair value is 981 pesos. Okay, so that means may, may room pa tayo gumalaw pa taas. Okay. So, makikita natin ang valuation ng stock na ito is undervalued which means may malaki ang tendency pa nitong uh, tumaas talaga dahil undervalued siya ngayon at ang financial health nitong stock na ito is moderate or fair. Okay? So, okay lang. Okay lang ang financial strength niya. So, which means buy at a dip. Okay? Kasi pag, bumababa, pag nagkakaroon ng dip, yun ang opportunity mo para makapasok. Okay? So, makikita natin uh, ang, ang rating ng mga professionals dito sa stock na ito is overweight which means positive naman siya uh, walang trend uh, sideways ang trend ng uh, uh, ng uh, mga professional ra ang professional rating niya uh, makita rin natin na uh, for the last two quarters nag uh, for the last quarter nagkaroon ng uptrend sa uh, revenue and at the same time sa earnings and ang Q3 Q4 uh, estimate niya for uh, for earnings para sa Ayala Corporation is for Q3 is uh, up up ang trend niya pero ang Q4 niya is downtrend okay so ilang kung dun sa mga gustong uh, uh, mahilig uh, mahilig sa mga fundamentals pag pinagsama mo ang fundamental actually pag pinagsama mo ang fundamentals at ang technical okay sa analysis mo yun ang the best uh, talaga dahil ang fundamental yun ang nagda-drive ng ano eh ng, ng stock eh yun ang magsasabi sa na fundamentally fundamental wise may room pa para gumalaw tong stock na to lalo na kung under natin na undervalue yung yung stock okay At, uh, as to kung overvalue siya at option sobrang taas na at option hindi pa maganda pinapakita ng technical so most likely ang stock na yun is uh, has a tendency to go down okay so that's why mas maganda kung pinagsama mo ang, ang fundamental at ang technical analysis pero kung wala ka namang ano uh, wala kang access sa mga fundamental research then uh, you know, uh, technical analysis is also really good okay kasi ang, ang technical analysis naman is uh, just a re representation reflection of yung fundamental uh, aspect nung ano nung, nung kumpanya okay so uh, so that's Ayala Corporation next nakitingnan natin na uh, bullish stock is yung Alliance Global Inc which is AGI Okay, so uh, AGI. Right, uh, so AGI. Makita natin lower uh, lower highs and lower lows uh, lately. Pero uh, bullish pa rin tong stock na to. At actually, maka nasa support siya ng uh, long-term trendline natin. Okay, so makikita natin na uh, uh, over, uh, oversold ngayon itong stock na to at uh, makikita natin na ang money flow natin is uh, negative okay 
So which means na binebenta siya currently ng mga institutions. However, nasa support tayo actually. Pag linoop natin tong uh, chart natin dito, makikita natin. Sa ibabaw ngayon, ng, uh, nasa ilalim na actually ng, ang, ng long term trend line. Okay? Uh, so, uh, most likely magkakaroon tayo ng issue dito actually. So, uh, AGI, dahil oversold siya, mag, baka magkaroon siya ng uh, short term bounce papunta dito sa ating short term trend line. Okay, so uh, 30, 14, 14 pesos. So kung gusto nyo pasukan tong stock na to, then uh, uh, just keep an eye sa 14 pesos na uh, resistance niya. Okay, so uh, pasok lang, labas, pasok kayo dito, then labas kayo pagdating ng 14 pesos. Okay, so lalo na makikita natin na ang health nitong stock na to is negative. Actually, hindi ko alam kung ba't nasama to sa ating <laughs> stock, bullish stock for this week. Pero, uh, cancel na lang natin to hindi uh, natin to ano pero ang ang um, ang rating nitong mga professionals natin dito is buy actually it's a buy okay so kung, uh, kung gusto niyo yung uh, actually hindi it used to be buy and then positive na lang so nagkaroon ng downtrend so uh, never mind wag na natin na wag na natin na tuloy pag AGI so next is Ayala Landing. Okay, so tingnan natin ang Ayala Landing. So makikita natin, higher highs, lower lows, uh, higher lows. At uh, uh, kasalukoy ng stock prices na sa ibabaw ng short term trend line natin, which is bullish. Okay, so positive ang uh, pinapakita ng mga institutions dito. They're buying the stock. Uh, at the same time, ang uh, over, uh, bought oversold signal natin is uh, pointed upwards. So, ang, ang momentum niya, ang trend niya is uh, going upwards. Kita natin ang uh, health indicator natin dito sa stock natin is uh, above our uh, orange band, which is healthy. So, um, so yun lang. Uh, approaching overbought na siya. So, ingat-ingat uh, lang tayo dito. So, kung bibili niyo, papasukan niyo itong stock na to, uh, just make sure na as long as nasa ibabaw siya nitong uh, green uh, trend line, short term trend line natin, uh, which is at four, currently nasa 42 pesos and 50 cents. Uh, so, may ang target price natin dito is 40, uh, around 44 pesos. Okay? So, ano ba sinasabi ng uh, ating star swing trade helper dito sa stock na to? So, punta natin ang Ayala Landing. So, makikita na price action is bullish. Momentum is also bullish, which means ang ang, uh, ang momentum natin is just reflecting kung ano yung health ng, ng stock natin. Okay, so kung yung nasa chart natin is, uh, pinapakita niya is uh, absolute indicator ng, ng stock, this is relative indicator naman itong momentum na to is relative to the market and to the sector. So which means na uh, in out, currently in outperform niya ang both PSEI, okay, ang index and ang sector niya which are whatever sector itong uh, Ayala Landing na to. Okay? However, makita natin smart money is uh, nasa dilaw siya which means neutral. Uh, hindi, hindi naman natin sinasabi na binibenta ng, ano, ng mga institutions to but at the same time hindi naman nila binibili. But neutral, I'll take neutral than uh, heavy uh, heavy selling. Okay? So timing wise makita natin na uh, kage green lang niya. At nung uh, ang swing trend natin is nagsimula pala siya mag-trend pataas. So, this might be a good stock to buy. Okay? So, nung uh, actually nung August 15, nagkaroon tayo ng momentum buy signal. So, makita natin ang uh, trade plan ko for that day. Buy below 42.40. Okay? Uh, and then, uh, yung first target price mo, 43.08, 43.84 ang target TP2. Target price 3 is 44.60. Okay, doon sa mga amateur at newbies natin and hindi malam kung kailan ka bibenta. This is good. Uh, this might be a, a might be a, you know, uh, a, pl a plan that you can use. Okay. Um, and then there's a may time buy below or sell below price na 41 pesos and 60 cents. Okay. So, um, that's that for Ayala Land Inc. Uh, susunod. Actually, uh, Tingnan natin ang fundamental, fundamentals itong company na ito. Tingnan natin muna sa ating chart. Alright. So, Ayala Landing. Currently, ang last close closing price niya ng Friday is 42.95. Fair value, quantitative, quantitative fair value price niya is 44 pesos and 1 cent. So, means may room tayo tumaas. Which is yung ating, makikita natin, yan yung upper uh, band natin. Okay. 
yun yung ceiling price natin actually which is at 44 pesos and 1 cent uh, currently ang uh, valuation nito is fair, value, fair, fairly valued at uh, financial health naman niya is okay alright so uh, uh, in terms of uh, yung professional uh, rating nito uh, actually overweight siya which means uh, positive pa rin pero nagkaroon ng, nagkakaroon ng downtrend okay in terms of uh, sa rating ng mga professional dito sa stock na to um, tapos yan uh, uh, uptrend naman ang previous uh, ang trend ng revenues niya sa previous quarters at ang uh, earnings naman niya is uptrend din sa previous quarters uh, projection niya for Q3 uh, is uptrend in terms of earnings and projection ng Q4 earnings is also uptrend okay so maganda ang pas maganda ang pinapakita ng itong stock na ito at um, ang hinaharap niya is also very nice alright so makita natin positive ang money flow uptrend ang uh, overflow uh, overbought over sold and then positive ang relative ang um, absolute strength indicator natin okay so that's ayala landing all right next is uh so one natin bilisan at uh, hopefully matapos natin within uh, 15 minutes or so next is video all right but next bullish talk is video so lagi natin dito video So, ang ginagamit natin is Investigrams. Kung gusto nyo gumamit na ibang chart, okay din yun. Like chart nexus, which is really good kung wala kayong connection sa internet. Okay? Marami naman mga videos dyan na pinapakita kung paano gamitin ng chart nexus. Pero, para sa akin, uh, I like, you know, connecting online uh, to Investigrams or FMADVN ang ginagamit kong mga charting software. Okay? So, pareho lang to, Pareho lang, pareho lang, para pareho lang sila actually. Uh, so video, makita natin na uh, maganda ang pinapakita ng stock nito. Uh, higher high, lower low, uh, higher lows, uh, above for short term trend line. Uh, makita natin, although ma uh, binibenta siya ng mga institutions ngayon. Okay, so yun lang downside nitong uh, itong stock na to. So most likely, makita natin na uh, medyo mahirapan siyang mag-breakthrough uh, dito sa resistance natin. Uh, pero hindi natin alam, ano? So at this point, uh, down, downward ang, ang overbought of resolved indicator natin uh, in the past few days at nagkaroon ng bend dito pataas which means baka pataas na ulit itong uh, trend itong stock na to okay so as long as makita natin healthy ang price ng stock natin so confident tayo na pwede tayong bumili eh dito sa stock na to at, uh, during the dips okay uh, yung mga short term uh, short term lows so yung mga tinatawag nilang pullback okay so, uh, tingnan natin kung ano sinasabi ni Star tungkol dito sa video. So, balik tayo dito sa ating uh, Star heat map. Uh, for video, makita na price action is green, bullish, momentum is also very bullish. Uh, smart money, makita natin pula. So, uh, nagkakaroon ng bentahan dito ng mga professionals. Okay? And ang timing natin is also is green, so we're bought. Alright? So, this might, this might not be a good time to buy. Uh, like I said, so mas maganda bumili ko ang timing mo, medyo nasa oversold which is yung mga red or yan uh, at ang swing trend natin actually is pababa so most likely baka pababa na itong uh, pababa, uh, pababa ang uh, momentum nitong stock na to alright, so wala tayong trading sig wala tayong buy signal for the stock the past few uh, past trading week at uh, kung gusto nyong bilhin tong stock na ito uh, may trade plan ako dito again for, uh, for newbies and amateurs Okay, kung professional ka, wala kang, kung wala kang trading plan na, uh, I don't know, <laughs> pa, hindi ko alam kung paano ka naging professional ko, or, or expert kung wala kang trading plan, always trade with a plan, sabi nga nila. Okay, uh, so video, anong sinasabi ng fundamentals ng video? Video is, uh, uh, ang fair value ng video actually is 124, so medyo above tayo ng, quality, ng fair value ng uh, fair value price niya ngayon uh, although the reason why above tayo kasi financially ang uh, fi financially strong itong company na ito so mo most of the time makita natin pag ang strong financial uh, ang, fi ang financials nitong ng, ng, stock, ng isang stock may tendency siya mag, mag uh, over overvaluate okay uh, basta maganda lang technicals ng pinapakita ng technicals ng stock 
okay lang pwedeng pasukan niyo yung stock pag kahit na overvalued basta as long as yung technical ng stocks is maganda okay pero just keep in mind na overvaluation usually ibig sabihin niyan medyo mataas na ang value ng ng price ng stock uh, okay so uh, ingat ingat tayo pag kaganyan ng uh, uh, pag kaganyan ng, ng status ng stock natin okay so uh, rating ng mga professionals dito is uh, positive okay with with an uptrend uh, and uh, during the last uh, uh, last quarter two quarters nagkaroon tayo ng uptrend sa revenue and uptrend sa earnings and Q3 uh, projection niya for Q3 Q4 is both uptrend so maganda pinapakita nito itong stock na ito in the, for the future okay so uh, that's that for video on to our next uh, next stock which is uh, DMCI actually tingnan natin ang DMCI sa sa charts natin DMCI ay DMCI makita natin nasa below siya ng short term trend line natin so nagkakaroon ng pullback at uh, well, makita natin na over uh, overbought going nasa overbought pababa na yung uh, momentum nitong stock nito okay uh, based dito sa ating overbought oversold chart uh, indicator. Okay, so makita natin bakit dahil binibenta ng mga camp ng mga professionals at itong institutions itong stock na to, negative ang money flow niya. Pag negative ang money flow uh, medyo mahirapan siya umangat. Okay, so makikita natin nakakaroon ng breakout pa rin kahit na negative ang money flow. Pero makita natin hindi naman sobrang negative. Ano? So nakakaroon ng breakout. Pero pag ganyan negative, may, mas malaki din ang tendency niya mag uh, bumaba. Okay, uh, kung masyado mataas na price, extended na yung price alright, so although makikita natin healthy ang uh, relative strength indicator natin or absolute strength indicator natin so uh, once na mag dip to sa so overbought, oversold uh, then uh, maganda pasukan itong stock na ito alright, so uh, ano siya sabi ni Star sa DMC ayun natin, makikita natin price action is currently nasa neutral siya momentum is still green smart money makita natin na uh, binibenta ng mga institutions tong stock na to although hindi naman heavily makita natin slight red lang siya timing wise kita natin pula so which is really uh, magandang magandang tingnan na tong stock na to habang nasa pula siya okay uh, and then ang swing trend natin is uh, also negative so once na mag, mag trend na siya papuntang green then magandang pasukan tong stock na to okay so uh, nagkaroon tayo ng momentum uh, buy signal noong August 14 at uh, kung gusto nyo pasukan itong stock nito just buy below 1560 itong mga, mga target price natin 1608, 1639, 1670 and then cut loss natin or sell below 15.46 ok uh, sinasabi ng DMCI so fundamentally fundamental nito uh, fair value niya is also is 15.47 which means medyo slightly above na tayo ng fair value um, although ang valuation pa rin itong stock na ito is still fairly valued uh, financial is good, so okay naman um, ang, uh, is, ang rating ng mga professionals dito is hold okay? so hold ang rating ng, ng professionals dito uh, may downtrend tayo okay? nakikita sa, sa, sa ratings ng mga professionals uh, past, two quart past quarters, nagkaroon ng positive uh, nagkaroon ng uptrend sa revenue downtrends earnings uh, at wala tayong mga wala tayong earning estimates para sa stock na to. Okay? So hindi lahat ng uh, blue chips uh, uh, sa PSEI ay, ay may uh, earnings evaluation. Okay? So mas maganda maganda sana kung meron ganoon kasi yun talaga usually ang short term uh, factor ng pagtaas ng stock pag nag nagbigay ng positive uh, estimate ang mga professionals natin sa size ng stock pag nagkaroon ng uptrend okay makita mo yung yung price ng stock is moment uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, temporary na pag-angat okay dahil sa mga pag, pag pag improve nila sa sa earnings ng isang future earnings ng isang stock or ng isang kumpanya okay uh, so yung DMCI DMC. So next stock na titingnan natin na uh, bullish stock is uh, EDC Energy Energy Development Corp. So uh, ilang minutes na ba tayo? 23 minutes. Wow. 
23 minutes pero okay lang stock pa lang tayo baka cut short na lang natin to okay maximum natin is stream 30 minutes na lang ayaw ko masyadong pakabahin itong uh, video natin dahil uh, una una kailangan ko pag i-upload takes a long time to upload a 30 minute video okay so uh, energy development corporation uh, EDC at hindi ko alam kung napansin nyo nasa opisina pa ako <laughs> actually katapos lang ng shift ko ng aking trabaho so uh, gusto ko lang i-upload to bago magsimula ang market natin dyan sa Pilipinas okay? so EDC Energy Development Corporation Ay, so nakita natin nagkaroon siya ng uh, uh, nagkaroon siya ng gap actually uh, bullish gap ng uh, kailan ba ito? nung August 4 okay? ating nagkaroon ng um, buyout uh, news dito sa sa stock na to so that's why nagkaroon tayo ng gap pero dahil nga masyado mataas ang, ang price na tinaas niya okay so nagkaroon tayo nagkakaroon tayo ngayon ng downtrend okay so uh, tingnan natin kung bakit na uh, downtrend siya kahit na nag, nag gap siya pataas okay this gap for good news pero downtrend siya mas makita natin ang fair value lang ng price ng stock na to is actually nasa 6.88 okay ah uh, 6.68 So that's why masyado mataas ang price nito. So pag mataas ang price, hindi na siya nagiging attractive. So nagkakaroon ng downtrend. Okay. So uh, makita natin uh, at the same time, kahit na nag-gap siya, makita natin. Oh, negative ang money flow. So may institutions talaga. Nakita nyo lang tumaas ang price ng stock. Binenta pa nila lalo itong stock nito. Eh, at kaya nagkakaroon, nagkaroon ng uh, temporary downtrend. Okay. Doon makita natin bullish itong stock nito. At, at lalo na nasa overbought siya okay so uh, ang momentum niya is pababa alright so makita natin healthy ang stock oh. so uh, bilhin natin to at a dip okay so right now pababa ang momentum niya so uh, most likely hindi pa itong tamang time para bilhin itong stock na ito at same time nasa ibabaw, nasa ibabaw siya nitong uh, volatility band natin which is itong ceiling natin so ceiling natin dito so yan hintay mo na natin ito bumaba pag dip mo na below sa ceiling and then umakyat bago natin pasukan itong stock na ito okay so may tendency din pag na break nyo itong uh, support na ito pwede rin itong bumaba <laughs> sa dati niyang ano uh, sa dati niyang resistance dito nung nag break out siya okay so yun lang mapapansin natin pag nagkakaroon ng gap okay mga gaps minsan na, na, sinasara nila yan kinoclose nila ulit yan alright so sana naman hindi Mag maganda naman ang positive naman ng news nitong company ito na bibilin siya uh, so hopefully magtumas taas pa tong stock na to okay so anong pan fundamentals ng EDC currently overweight positive ang uh, positive ang uh, tingin naman institutions dito although negative uh, downward ng trend Uh, at the same time, revenue is downward from the previous quarter. Uh, earnings is up. Uh, eh, yun lang. Financial is good. Valuation is very fair value. Okay? So, uh, ano pa ba ang mga bullish stocks natin? So, sabihin ko na lang isa-isa. Andiyan yung... Okay? Andiyan yung Globe Telecom. Globe Telecom uh, fair value natin dito is 2200 ICT fair value is 99 so medyo mataas ang valuation ang, ang current price natin although makita natin na uh, yeah, we're valued siya ngayon financial health is moderate so ingat-ingat lang tayo sa ICT although maganda ang uh, trend ng uh, Q3 Q4 earnings niya okay so that's why I'm bullish siya ngayon So buy at the dip guys, okay? Uh, LTG Group, fair value 16.90, so overvalued siya. Fairly fair, fair value pa rin. Uh, ang last close, closing price natin is above, above ng fair value, although uh, financially strong tong company na ito, so okay lang. Overweight, uh, ang, ang downward ang trend ng uh, professional, uh, professional uh, rating natin. Okay, so revenue is up from the past uh, quarter. Uh, sideways naman ng earnings. Okay. Sunod, nandiyan yung Meg, MEG, Mega World. Mega World, fair value natin is 488. So, uh, fair, value, fair value lang siya ngayon. Financial, okay naman ng financials. 
actually buy ang rating ng mga professionals dito uh, revenue is up earnings is up uh, Q3 is a slight downtrend and Q4 is sideways ang Q4 earnings is sideways okay so next is uh, Manila Electric Company fair value is 255 above ang closing price natin is above uh, fair value dahil magandang uh, financial nito uh, strong financials okay valuation is overvalue all right so ang professional uh, rating nito is overweight which is positive with an uptrend okay uh, both up ang uh, uptrend ang revenue and uh, past revenue and past earnings past quarter earnings uh, and then for q3 q4 q3 is uptrend q4 is downtrend okay And there's Metro Pacific Investment Corporation or MPI. Fair value is 6.43. All right. Buy ang uh, rating nitong stock na to. Past quarter uh, revenues up, earnings up. Q3 earnings is uptrend. Q Q4 is up sideways. Okay. And then genuine pure gold. Uh, is mga bullish stock natin. Uh, profession uh, fair value is 48.26 okay uh, financial is okay valuation is fair value uh, positive ang rating ng mga professionals with an uptrend sa rating uh, nila and then uh, revenues up from, from the previous quarter earning is earnings is down previous quarter Q3 both Q3 Q4 earning estimate is sideways All right so Genuine. Yung, you know, this young Semirara. Semirara SEC fair value 153. Uh, medyo uh, above tie ng fair value. Uh, valuation is overvalued. Financial health is strong. Okay, so that's why medyo nasib past tie ng okay overvalued tie dal magandang financials nitong company nito. Okay, although price to sales niya is 4.5. Okay, anything below one is good price to sales ratio uh, okay over overweight itong positive ang uh, rating ng professionals with a downtrend okay both uh, revenue and earnings niya from previous quarter is also downtrend okay and uh, nandiyan yung security bank corporation na maganda pinapakita niya technically uh, lately uh, so ngayon ang fair value niya is also fair value uh, fair value price is 253.71 valuation is fair fair value financial uh, financial strength is yes, strong okay so uh, although ang rating ng mga professionals is hold hold mo na to uh, medyo pababa ang trend nila okay so tinan tinan lang natin itong stock na to uh, dahil ang revenue past revenue past earning niya uh, for the last quarter is also downtrend Q3, Q4 is sideways. Okay, yung, yung Q3, Q4 earnings estimate. And then there's uh, uh, SM Prime Holdings. Prime, Prime Holdings, fair value is 32.96. Okay, so nasibabaw siya ng current price natin. Uh, nasibabaw ang current price natin dun sa fair value niya. Uh, although valuation is still fair, fairly valued. Financial health is moderate or fair. Uh, which is okay hold ang rating ng mga professionals and then uh, last quarter uptrend ang parehong revenue and earnings okay and then yung SM investment or SM uh, kita natin ang fair value price is 836.40 valuation is fair value financial health is moderate uh, okay alright so makikita natin uh, up ang revenue nya from the last actually uh, downtrend actually hindi ko, hindi ko na nakita yung estimates and revenue niya for the last quarter for SM investment okay. so uh, I guess yun lang yun, yun lang mga bullish stocks natin so ano ano nga ba ang mga stocks na titinan ko ngayon okay for this week so mga stocks sa uh, pick ko for this week uh, bullish stocks picks for for this week na titinan ko it, mga blue chips lang to, so there's nandiyan yung Ayala Land Inc okay I'm looking at an entry price below 42.95 okay cut loss ko dito is 42.10 target price is 44.67 okay with the risk reward of uh, 1 1 is to 2 
or two is to one okay all right so video uh next stop na tinitinan ko uh entry, i'm looking at entry price below 130 okay cut loss 127.64 target price 135 bpi uh okay then there's dmc there's edc glo ict ltg 